Welcome back to the Sunken Library. Okay, so our friend is going there. He's the one who just came up the stairs, and he's probably going to go back down the stairs in a minute. Obviously, I want to explore this room. I just realised something. Oh, he's coming here. Oh shit! Don't, don't. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, I'm hearing that door downstairs. Spellbooks and incantations locked, except by appointment. Oh, I can pick this lock. Not easily, but possible. Okay. Uh, what I'm saying is, um, something I realized in the break when I was refilling my coffee between uh, episodes here is that this area, the servant's area that we couldn't get into, is locked here. Well, I didn't actually didn't check that door, did I? Maybe that door is pickable. Because I haven't been over here yet. Um, or was it the basement? I'm thinking of. No, it's this basement. This question marks locked. Right, we couldn't pick either of these. There's an area here, and maybe when we went round the western side here, when we're going around in the sewers, and there was the place where we got under the floor and there was a, a hole up through the floor. Um, that probably goes in here, right? Might be worth checking out. Uh, for the moment we've got uh, this room. Spell components. One weapon. Non-magical, masterwork preferable. One basin of cool, clear, aligned water, holy or unholy as appropriate. A deity or being with enough power to empower the weapon. A voice. If you are unable to speak, please read a Silent Prayer published by the Cleric's Tower of Zell Karan for an in-depth examination of possible alternatives. First, place your weapon in the basin of aligned water. Ensure that the whole weapon is within the water, except the part which you intend to hold in combat. You may feel the need to stir. Don't. Instead, hold it steady until the ripples stop. Declare a prayer to your god, and then remove the weapon from the water. Move around the pool clockwise. After returning to your starting location, raise your weapon to the sun moon, and declare another prayer to your entity's greatness. Test if your weapon is blessed. If your weapon is not blessed, consider performing a sacrifice appropriate to your god. Drowning a woman in an unholy pool, or throwing material wealth into a holy one are both common ways to appease an otherwise passive entity. Hmm, is that something we're going to have to do, actually? We can't pick that up. And how am I going to place this, my sword in a holy water? Let's just assume that's color for the moment. Oh. More healing. Oh, this is giving us a lot of stuff here. Oh, it's just a chest full of books. Nice. I can hear zombie moans. But maybe we're coming up into that room. Trying to lean against the door, not through it. Hmm. Alright, this door I can't pick. Where are we? That one we need a key for. Alright. Oh, but 
should, we should be able to get around there the other way. So we could pick one of these locks, but not the other, I guess. Maybe they're too rusty to work with the pick and would need the extra force that the actual key could apply. <laughs> What's this with this sound? Records on Times, 1420. Copy of the original newspaper. Okay. So what's through that door then? Oh, our friend is coming back. I think they're going in that room. Yeah. Oh, there is another friend in there then. from over here, which is relatively dark, but maybe not very safe. If you want something from Idramish, wait until a day when there are some overdue books to collect. She is always in a better mood when she is a well-stocked attic. these crates full of books. Nice touch. I'll we'll try and be quiet because we don't know who's coming in here. Oh, there's a key on the hanging on a thing. Could be a value. Servant's key. All right, we can get to the servant's quarters. So what's this book? On day 26, Stiff Cube, 2581. Booked out. Advanced Mathematics by Jonathan Demon. Magic and Might by Van Derek. Clubs and You. Utilizing heavy objects to smash brittle ones. Derg. Tome of Fire by Brunan. Goblin Morphology by Jonathan Derrieth. Booked in. Nothing. Tuesday, 27th. Booked out. Sexual Workings of Murfloak by Butterfly. Coupling with Ogres by Butterfly. Greckle's Arrival, Dust Grim Skull. Booked in, Clockwork and Glass, Gloombrow Dystopian, brought in by Force, Gloombrow Passed Upstairs. Greckle's Journey, Dust Grim Skull, brought back on time. Wednesday 27th, booked out, Creation of Bone Golems by ex the Destroyer, for as long as they want. Snakekeeping by Skull Deathbloom, booked in, Goblin Morphology by Jonathan Derrieth. Clubs and You? By Dirk. Book badly damaged. Dirk passed upstairs. What's this passed upstairs means? Hmm. Is that where they punish the uh, overdue or damaged... The people who have overdue or damaged books? Thursday, 28th. The library is being temporarily closed. No new books will be booked out or taken back until things return to normal. door opening that I wasn't expecting. Oh. 
that came in here and went downstairs. Am I in, wait a minute, which room am I in? This, I went this way, didn't I? Ugh. I could just make a move. That's a good place to save, anyway. That's going to be the uh, the main entrance hall, isn't it? Hello, I see something on top of the bookshelf over there. the other guy patrols through here, I wonder. I'm doing a lot of waiting and watching. Because there seem to be quite a lot of long patrols. That's, uh... Risky. Makes it risky to run around. Because there's not always a lot of... Dark shadows to hide in. Okay. this way, isn't he? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go that way. Alright, let's go up. Up seems okay. <laughs> if we're quick. Facing north, that's the stairs down. Okay, so we're here. Right, that's this room that we just came in. Spooking this guy too much? Seems we can. Okay. Oh, hello. I see you there, suspicious looking great. Let's make a note. We're up here. Let's, let's, let's put an X. I don't want to explore that yet. Well, I've still got part of this floor to... The only key I've got is the servant's key, but it's not going to work, right? Okay. Well, that's locked. It needs a key. And, uh... That needs a key. We haven't been here. I'm going to just put question marks. We haven't been in here. 
We've got that key, I'm sure. But, uh, right, so I guess I am going up to this grate right away. Definitely not going to be the servant's key for that. Okay. What use is having a nice... Great. If, uh... Well, this is going to be awkward to get down, isn't it? How am I going to do this? Alright, that's fine. Uh, so I guess I need to go back downstairs. Can I just walk past this guy? Probably not, right? He's not too observant, that, that's fine by me. Wait, did he start walking around? So, or maybe he did see me and started searching, but he just didn't react right away because he was in the middle of an animation. Or he might have been in the middle of a conversation action. Okay, so where am I going then? Well, we guess we go out in here. No, I guess, we, yeah, we need to go out around to there, so I do need to go through this room. Alright. We know people patrol in there. Well, Kremion, so we need to wait for them. Patience. I don't want to walk into one of them coming right out, because I don't have... I don't have very many good escape uh, routes and hiding places. There's too many locked doors and too many crewmen wandering around. Or something on the seat, but no. Okay. Like it does turn. Oh, the stairway is falling down as well. Okay. Okay. Oh, this guy's coming. So we could easily rope up to the floor above from here, which is good to know. Very brightly lit room, and I'm just get a sense for where this guy goes before. And there's a shadow in that corner, but it might not be very safe. I'll probably climb on top of the bookshops in that corner once he's moved.
Let's go for it. <laughs> so we can scout from here. That's a werewolf statue. Okay, so there's a book up there I might want to read. Oh, it's back. A couple of crows come through here as well. It's not really an easy room to... It'll be brightly lit up on top of there, right? Maybe we can hide just behind the bookcase near the statue. How are we doing loot wires? 2500 is a gold. Now, this is annoying. Steal the book of Untold Story, steal the book of First Lich, steal the book of Draupic. Now, there was something in the long form version about this. The Book of Untold Stories is supposed to be on the top floor, but there was something about this one and this one, or at least one of them in the long form version that is now missing some information. I don't remember, it's just uh, awkward. And we're very low on our loot goal. Is this not going to be super easy? Okay. So you come through here from that side, and I think the other guy comes in these doors and back out. I don't know if the horn is valuable. Probably not, right? I don't really see any other valuables. I see a couple of voids on these bookshelves, but uh, I don't see any, any valuables on them. So I just want to check out that book. It's our cray friends coming in. <laughs> the Chronicles of the Star People. Best selling novel. Beast of Kerath, Taxidemy Werewolf, donated with love by Count Deathsplitter. Good. Ah, uh, your dramatic chord makes less of an impression on me rather than the pressing tension to avoid the, uh, sprays, but okay. See what the drama was all about. There's a window there. Is that a window we've been able to see in, or is that one we're going to see out? <laughs> His legs have fallen off. Or well, one of them. And then one arm. Oliver nodded and stepped forward, nervous. You sure this is a good idea? He asked. Peter snorted before responding. Of course it isn't. That never stopped us before. Great. A well of positivity as normal. The two of them approached the ogre and ready their ones. Oliver then called out, Hey, over here! And at that exact moment, Peter threw a fireball. The ogre roared and began to stagger. Oliver then pulled out the scroll. He had one chance to cast it. And if he failed, he would be the one dying from it. With care, he began to speak. Disintegrata. He declares the last word and feels the magic twist. He had pronounced it wrong. With panic, he watched as his arms began to mutate and twist. It was less painful than he expected, but that didn't stop the shock. The good news was that the ogre was caught in it as well. It didn't understand what was happening to it, and began fruitlessly tearing at the twisted plush on its arms. Peter reached into his bag. He had a scroll of dispel, but he was worried it was too late to help. Someone's reading their... Uh... No fiction there? Right, we, we went up there, right? So this is a window I saw, but it's not a window I could look really look into. Nothing in the fireplace. These valuable glasses are big. Big means valuable, right? 
Okay. And there is a pillow. Check on this table. Aha, uh -huh, there's another grate there. We should try getting up there. Also locked. Also locked with a key that we don't have. Great. All right. So where are we? This is this is this room, right? Isn't it? So not on this floor. Uh, although, yeah, because I came across here. Am I confused? Didn't it go through this door? Uh, maybe there's maybe we're miss maybe we're just missing a uh, room like this, right? No, we've got the double doors there. Maybe I should do that. So here we have it. great. And I'm gonna put separately locked. Okay. I guess we go down these stairs and we haven't been down those stairs yet. We haven't been in this area. And then we should be able to get into the servants quarters. We do have to keep the servants quarters. So let me also note here Uh, over here is the sewers, and we have both zombie floor hole, and we have spider lair, are both places they are in the sewers, that we haven't explored, alright, can I get down from here without hurting myself? Thank you skeleton for your kind assistance. Nothing on that table. No, okay. Okay, they got suspicious, but they didn't see me. Oh. I knew chopping down banners would be valuable. Okay. I'm just going to go down and make a run for it. Hope to find a. Nope. Bad move. Bad move, but not horrifically bad. I just got the key ready. Wow, you're blind. Okay. Zombies, zombies are fine. Zombies I'm kind of okay with. They're less of a threat than Crayman. 
if you know if alerted to me. And he seems to be going around in circles. I'll leave that door open as a potential way to potential alternate route. Right, he's coming back. Is he going into that room or is he going down the hallway here? He's coming down the hallway here. I'm hearing somebody above. Okay. I mean, why would the servants have the good, the good goblets, right? Why am I hoping to find gold in here? Garrett. Am I Garrett? I don't know. This doesn't seem to be a thief, thief setting. But a lot of other stuff happening, so maybe I'm not Garrett. Alright, that hole there, I don't think I could get through that. Attic key, okay. Ah, maybe that's what we need for the. Uh, those grates. If so, then that makes it a great find. Is it coming or going? Turns around and comes back, I think. It's the guy upstairs. No? Not the seventh key? It's not going to be the attic key. Okay, that's odd. Um, I mean, that might be that key that's eastern side, but it's strange that the servant's key doesn't. Doesn't work there. Right, because the game goes in there and we're like, so, wait and see what the patrol looks like. And I'll need to check behind the desk as well. It was a bit too bright for me to sit and wait there. that comes in here? No, he's going out a different door. Hmm. Alright, I wanted to check behind the desk. Nothing, just a chair. Idromish has disappeared into her room. I have no purpose here. There are no books to collect. No one to take upstairs to the attic. Most of the other servants can't even speak anymore. 
For that reason, I have chosen to try to escape through the barrier. You will find the attic key under my desk. Consider this my formal resignation. I doubt you have the power to enforce your termination policy. Jürgen, your former record keeper. Oh, so he went out the window, did he? Oh. <gasps> Oh, it's just him, just him, just our friend down there. I guess he, the termination policy did get enacted, that's interesting. Because the statue was looking at him, was watching him climb out the window, that's certainly creepy, isn't it? Specifically watching his window here. Yeah. So this is the roof I thought that I wouldn't be able to mantle onto it. Actually, I should try... In case there was something there to grab. Okay. Oh, more keys. Uh, another copy of the servant's key. 27 of Isiangun, 2053. This will be my final report until our paper is restocked. I have continued to clean the library as directed. Torches have remained lit, and all sections, except the top floor, have been cared for. Of the rest of the staff, the cook is, as always, superfluous. Our living staff members starved to death a long time ago. My assistant remains in the library, reading. His disobedience should lead to his removal. However, I require your permission to act on it. Finally, we still require a new records keeper, as our old one tried to force himself through the barrier. The rest of the staff continues to serve you faithfully and graciously. So they're all stuck here in the library. Okay, more flares, more healing. Not bad. More loot. Never bad. Juran is missing. He was in the basement messing with some of the cabling, and I think something must have attacked him from the sewers. Losing another person is bad, but he was also carrying out copies of the Count's key. I know the Count is out at current, but when he returns, somebody's going to have to tell him. Duran in the basement. Cabling in the basement. Is that where the hole was? Oh. I didn't notice this. <gasps> Is this the attic already? Things do not look particularly promising down that path, do they? But where else are we going to go? Okay, we've got more... We can get in there. Rope down, rope back up. To the attic key. No? That is just one of the ones that we couldn't unlock before, right? That's like facing west. No, that's facing south. That's gotta be the great... It's gotta be this one, surely, but... Why is it locked? I'm already here. Is it locked with a key? Uh, who am I hearing walking around? That guy, I guess. 
All right, well, I'm going to leave a rope here for a rapid exit. So I've got four ropes now. Don't worry, it's just me. Nothing you need to be worried about. Lots of crates. Okay, is this... Wait a minute, is that another part of the... Is that the same part of the attic? Did I just come down this hole? Did I not, did I not notice it? Oh, I saw this hole and for some reason I thought that was the room I came in from. Okay. Ah, oh, so that's not the attic proper. This is the attic proper. No? What the hell? Servants quarters. Are we still in the servants quarters? Wait, have I been here? Have I been here? Have I not? Uh, yeah, this is the spellbook section. Okay. I'm a little confused. The map. Oh, this is the north north door. So there's a locked door there somewhere. I mean, I guess it's over here. It might be there actually. Feels like this is this is two rooms again. Let's do that. I don't know, the map is a little confusing. Okay. Well, where am I trying to get to? So this is floor two. So it's not an attic key. So maybe that crate is the one that I was feeling this was different. But we should be able to get there and we sh that should be the attic key now, maybe? Don't know. Was this the Count's key? Maybe the Count's key is what I need to pursue. In the basement, messing with some of the cabling. Let's go back down. No. Right, these two doors are just this room, right? We have more of this servants area to, to explore. Oh, he does go through that way sometimes. Or, or this guy does. Waiting in here might be the right right option right now. Didn't realise there's two of them in this hallway.
Make some noise from the guy upstairs and help. Okay. Another room to the south here that I can't get into. Oh, that's where I came in. Could lock him out. He's probably going to alert some of the uh, cray men. Maybe they'll fight him. I don't know. I don't know if they're on the same team or not. Hello? Another room. Okay, so our other patroller is going to come in here. So let's not hang around too much. Ah, basement. Okay, well, we should be pretty much. And the servants' kids don't do this one, right? Ah, oh, we heard this guy from the sewers, didn't we? Is that the guy who was messing with the cabling? Who got attacked? Yeah, that's, that's him, all right. Hmm, let's put him off here. Where's this dark patch? That water does not look very safe. stuff on there. Can't make it all out, but there's this crystal that I would like. Oh, well, he's walking through that water, isn't he? I'm gonna burn my other moss. Gears, that's what it's here. Yeah. Great key. Oh, okay. Don't know why I need that to open grates. Seems a little odd, but fine. Let's look at those bones, but I want to wait till this guy's not looking. I'm not really looking my direction. Do I see a key in there? I don't think I do. No, unless it's underneath the uh, moss. 
Uh, I'm just going to do a quick test. What does that note say? He's also carrying a copy of the Count's key. Oh, something must have attacked him from the sewers. This is suggesting that the key is going to be down there. Who's the Count? Unless the idea is that we won't find it. Alright. I'm going to just hit save. <laughs> yeah, that's going to kill me. This is not viable. Alright, let's just leave. Well, I wonder if there's anything in there. If there is, I don't know how I would find it. How I would get to it. Of course, that's the sewers. <laughs> that's, that's where... Right, right, right. Okay, I don't want to come down there, but that's that's obviously what that is. Alright. Let's just go. I guess technically that was safe scumming, but you know. My prerogative. Okay. We've got zombies wandering in and out of here. But we've got that great key now. means we can go and unlock the crate that's in the upper floor here. Where is the zombie that was that used to patrol in here? Not hearing any zombie feet right now. It's just the same room again. Okay. That's the exit. Oh, he's just coming back here. Which which way is this guy going? Which one is he? The guy that cuts through the room or cuts down the hallway? He is Holy Man. Should leave that door open. That's not the way up the stairs. I don't know why we can't open the side door, but I guess it's a different key that we don't have. So where's the other staircase here? I've forgotten already. Okay, so he does come in here. That's the room with the desks. Right, he goes out and through the other door that leads out of here, right? Yeah, so we'll just follow him. Thanks for being noisy, Garrett. This is, no, that's the stairs. <sighs> right, this is where it needs to be. No. It is this room. Right, all these three are equivalent for me. 
because there's a ladder. <gasps> and then there's the two other ways up, the two other holes that we could come in. That one there, and this one here. Okay. Right, so the grate is into <laughs> vents, so... Oh, okay, this is somewhere new. This must be the other part of the forbidden books. Well. Wow. Don't know about you, but this feels like an excellent place to end this episode. Maybe even a good screenshot too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next one.